All right, Marona, I know you guys want to move on and talk about McNeese, but you beat number six Wisconsin. I'm sorry we've got to talk about it. It was awesome. Um, it's been five days. Is the vibe, is the feeling, is the energy from that still lingering in your prep for McNeese? Honestly, it feels like a long time ago. I'm not going to lie. Just because of how our practices are and how our coaches are on us about moving on, it feels like forever ago that that because we, we've done so much since then to prepare for McNeese. So, you know, it kind of feels like it really is in the past. But there are some things I still want to discuss. OK, the trick play, Bucky. Um, during the week, I was told you weren't that good of an actor in it. Is that true? Who said that? I don't, Kalani to the media. I don't know what he's saying because obviously it worked. <laughs> so no one was in with, within 20 yards. Now, granted, that was a lot of credit due to Leva because of the weapon he is, but hey, it worked, so you know. When the cameras were rolling, you were good. Okay, at what point in that play do you think, oh, it's gonna work? Uh, the second, like two steps into the play, I knew it because they were coming down hard and I knew they were gonna, I knew Leva would draw them on. I really did because he was having a game. I mean, they had to respect him, so kind of knew it was gonna work. At that point, are you like, please, Leva, just give me a pass I can catch? <laughs> yeah, I knew he would. <laughs> I trusted him. He'd been doing it well in practice, yeah. so yeah. He said he won a tryout. Is it did did it was just receivers, right? No tight ends tried out for quarterback. Yeah, no, no, no. It, I wasn't there when it happened, but yeah. I trust him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that plays a big one because you take the lead, you get the momentum there. How satisfying was it to actually execute that to perfection and just really catch them off guard? I mean, it's just I don't want to be like, oh, we knew it would work, but it's like honestly, our coaches work so hard and they put in so many hours and they know. The plays we run will work if we just execute them. So it's just exciting to see it actually work, you know. Is the key the jet sweep there, that the jet sweep was working so that it opens that up? Yeah, I think it was a combination of everything, how well our offense was working, our run game, our jet sweeps. Like I said, level working extremely hard before any of that happened. Uh, they had to play us honest. So, How much were you jumping around after the third quarter? Uh, I was actually enjoying watching the team do it more. I kind of caught myself watching as I believe a lot of the fans and the other team did as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes, they did. Yes, they did. Uh, how has uh, how have things turned for you guys? Because you go into Arizona, you're not supposed to win that game. You're a double-digit underdog. Uh, Khalil Tate, you perform well. You come home, pressure's off a little bit with Cal. It wasn't what you wanted offensively. Then you do kind of a similar performance with Arizona or Wisconsin where it's, we're not supposed to win this game. So how do you turn the table now that you're the ranked team and you're supposed to win? I think it's, you know, after that Cal game, I don't like going in the past, but we really did learn an important lesson of coming off a high. Like Arizona, it's been so long, we we won, you know. Like we're back and we had that feeling. And I think we did let it get to us in the preparation, like we all know. And so that lesson that we learned that week, um, ever since then, practice has been amazing. I mean, it's been on to the next, like every day we got to work, we got to grind, and it's because of that lesson we learned. And I think it's been the same, even Wisconsin to this week, the practice has been the same intensity, like execution, you know, the importance of going hard every play. So After it's helped. It's helped a lot. After the Cal game, you referenced uh, the practice from the previous Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. How was practice? It was a great practice. Great, great practice. Uh, no turnovers, no fumbles, no pre-snap penalties. Um, passing game's improving. This is one of our goals. So it, I think it's a really good, really good Wednesday practice. A lot, lot to improve, and we still have a lot of time, thankfully, in the week. But I, I mean, I like where we're at. Spencer and I have discussing a lot, uh, been discussing a lot Tanner Mangum's performance. So the numbers are low, 89 passing yards, you know, but it was what it was required to win. How would you assess Tanner's play and how he led the team to victory in his role as a quarterback? I mean, it's spot on. I mean, he did. There's so much you don't see, you know, people think quarterback throws the ball. But with how complex this offense is, he is actually involved in a lot of the run game and a lot of the reads. And that's stuff people don't see. And so, you know, he carried out his fake. And so he did so much more than just throw however many yards he said, I don't even know. Um, that made the team successful. So he's spot on and he's performing where he needs to perform. And he's doing what he needs to do when his number's called. And so that's what makes our team good, is he's always ready, he's always consistent to make the play. How much on the preparation day did you guys throw, remind me? You were in the same mission in Chile. Oh, back, uh, back in the mission. Yeah. Um, it was one P day. We only had one chance, and it was for a good couple hours. Yeah, yeah I got to throw some deep balls, play with the Chileans, it was fun. 
Did you make sure you stretched out well? Because I wouldn't want you to pull a hamstring in that situation. And what did your companions do? Because you weren't companions, right? No, 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 no. They're just hanging out? No, they were, it was like 20 on 20 because everybody wanted oh. to play. It was like the whole zone or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was like, <laughs> it was like our zone and his zone. Yeah. We met up and, you know, it was going to be a small thing, but, wait, you guys are going to play? Like, oh, we want to go. And then it kind of spread. And so like, we Fine, we have to include yeah, them. No, <laughs> so we showed up and there's like 40 people. I'm exaggerating, but it was not 11 on 11. It was more like 15 on 15. So On a bad grass field, probably at some school or something. It actually was nice because That's it was good. a soccer field. Good. I mean, they're huge into soccer. Yeah. And we got into one of their come a semi-pro pro teams. Okay. Yeah, so we were in their stadium. It was pretty cool. Nice, but you didn't have cleats, I imagine. No, 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 just tennis shoes, but it's still fun. Did you carry a football with you on your mission? Did you have one? Uh, I didn't, actually. I think I, I did, but I gave it away, like, really early. To some native Chileans? Yeah, yeah. So to some Chilean, some people I taught, and so, nice. yeah. You're hoping uh, they got baptized, and then they're the next Ziggy from Chile at BYU? Right, they come, get recruited, <laughs> you know, become All-American. Yes, exactly. Great story. Okay, let's finish with this. Uh, there was a photo taken by Patrick Kinahan of your tight ends coach, Steve Clark, fully embracing uh, Jeff Grimes. When you see that photo, what comes to mind? Uh, just, I love I love my coach, man. I love Coach Clark. I love everything he stands for, his character. Um, he puts in so much work, and he's never, he's never going to be a guy to be, you know, hey, look at me, here's the credit. He's a behind-the-scenes kind of guy, and he honestly just wants us to exceed. And so seeing that... It's just like, man, I, I love this guy, and I love Coach Grimes, and, and you can tell they're passionate about what they do. And so as a player, it's really easy to get behind them and kind of buy into what they're teaching. Buy in. I, I would do anything Coach Clark told me to do because I know he, he loves us, he wants the best for me, and, and he's just a great guy. So. so if he asks you to go grocery shopping, you're like, you're there? Absolutely. I'll get whatever you want, <laughs> milk, eggs, whatever, you name it. Do we need to simulate that photo with players like Michael Shelton with Mo Lange? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. That's just a spur of the moment thing. Yes. You can't, you can't kind of, yes. you can't copy that. It happened. It's yeah. over. Well, good luck against McNeese State. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm excited.